The, the, the situation was uh, assassination of the president as a first step, uh, creating a chaos. Uh, I think some were expecting the population to, to take the streets, and suddenly we were thinking as a government that at a certain point there would be also other mercenaries to attack key infrastructure, uh, like uh, the airport. That's why we closed the airport. Um, the, there is a new uh, 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 electric uh, plant. And there is a new electric plant uh, in, in Kofu. And there is a gas reserve of the country in the area of Kofu also. The incredibly brazen assassination have on Haiti. Um, you know, how will this mark? There, there is path uh, uh, for chaos uh, to happen because there's a large group uh, of people uh, that doesn't want elections to happen. And call me to give him his, his support and I welcome. I think that's what democracy should be. Having our partners in the U.S. who assist and help us in the investigation is key. But in the, the long-term future, in terms of, you know, there's people saying maybe... Some people know about it. And what do we do? Do we let the country fall into chaos? Private properties destroyed? Uh, people killed after the assassination of the president? Or as a government, do we prevent by preventing is to exactly ask for support. You can question the elections. People cannot question the elections. And at that point of time, we are to authorize US troops to come in and help and assist. So we're not asking for the occupation of the country. We're asking for small troops to assist and help us there's still no vaccines in the country, and so those factors, um, you know.